our YouTube channel, it's your girl Sid. Happy Resurrection Sunday, happy Easter everyone. Today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me. As you can see, I have completed the look. Um, makeup looks really good. Hair is being a little okay, like we're trying to get it right. But y'all, I tricked my fiance. He thought that this was my hair. I got him really good because he usually be like, if you don't take them wigs off your head, before I get into that, right? Before I get into the get ready with me. The other day I bought these Flamingo body wax strips from Target because I did not, again, go on Amazon and buy um, more wax for my wax machine. And I think I'm gonna throw the wax machine away because these things are the truth because it already has like the strip and the wax is already on the strip. All you have to do is lay it down and pull it off. Like this is much easier. I don't know if I'm gonna go back to the wax. So this is Flamingo from Target. I don't know if they have it on Amazon. If they do, I will link it in my storefront. I'll stay tuned for this um, get ready with me and I will see you guys soon.
done so I'm gonna go um, get my flat iron so I can do this hair yeah and then we'll I'll think of a lip combo in just a second right now I can't think of one so I'll be right back and this gold chain that I found from Target and then of course my own gold jewelry um, so this is the jumper um, my fiance got it last year on chickme.com I think it's called chickme, chickme, one of the two and I'm going to pair it with this cute scarf I, I think I did a get ready with me with this outfit but I just never wore it out get ready with me to stay in the house that's what I did <laughs> I'm going to pair it with this. 
This thing is so cute. I got this from this scarf from one of my parents a few years ago. My daycare parents. She bought it for me for Christmas. And I haven't really wore it. Freeze. I haven't really wore it um, out. But I thought it would be super cute with this. And I did this. I think that was around Christmas time. And then y'all. <laughs> I have this chain that goes on my purse. But we're going to make it work. And I'm going to tie it around. We're going to see what we're looking like. Excuse my room, y'all. Because I know it's looking mess. I know it looks mess. Okay. Hold up. Alright. I think I can do this right. There we go. It's like a cute off the shoulder moment. On the shoulder, off the shoulder. And then last time, I can't remember how I did it, but I'm just going to tie it for now until I figure out a better way. And then, y'all, I'm going to pair it with these cute, cute, cute. Um, yellow shoes that I got at Burlington. Oh, still has a tag on. For $24.99. Hold up, y'all. Pray that I don't fall over. Okay. So this is the fit. This is the fit with the yellow shoes. At first, at first I thought the yellow would be a little too much. But they're not because it kind of complements the other colors. And then for my bag, which is a little busy... For my bag, I'm going to do my cute tiger bag. You guys can see I got this at TJ Maxx last year for like $49, something like that. But here we go. Here's the fit, y'all. I'm about to get ready to get up out of here. You guys, before I go, I just wanted to share a tidbit of what I gathered from church today that was so, so good. The, the imagery that my pastor used and just the reminder of what Christ did for us and what he continues to do for us each and every day. So today he went from the scripture, Matthew 11, 28 through 30. Um, and it just says, um, come to me, all who are weary um, and need rest. Take upon my burden for my burden is easy and my yoke is light and the imagery that he used this is what i got it says this is what i wrote down i said follow me i already bore the cross i already did the heavy lifting just give me you god tells us to take up our cross daily but he also tells us to give that that in the same sense he tells us to give that burden back to him so that he can carry he already bore the cross he already carried he already did the heavy lifting so that we don't have to so we are not meant to carry these issues of life whether it be worry stress uh worrying about finances worrying about clothes worrying about food anything in our lives that we t tend to worry about or lose sleep over those things we are not intended to lose rest about those things we are not meant to carry by ourselves the imagery that my pastor uses he had the cross and he had one of our um, men from the congregation come up and help him and he said um he was the one carrying the cross he was being represented as um not jesus but as himself carrying the burdens because god says pick up your cross daily take up your cross daily but he also says that i will give you rest if you give that stuff to me that i will carry it for you if you if you follow me follow me as a a two words that God said or that Jesus said a lot as he was walking on this earth follow me give me what you have and I will carry your cross I will make the the low light I will make whatever issues that you are worrying about in your life I will make it light I will make it right it does not mean that we will not suffer in this world it, w it does not mean that when we come to God nothing else wrong will happen we live in a fallen world so unfortunately we will still be subject to the trials and the testing and the persecution in this life but God said come to me Jesus said come to me he took all of that in to his body he was faultless he was blameless he was sinless in this world and he took on all of our shame all of our guilt all of our greed all of our sins all of our transgressions all of our pain all of our suffering all of our sickness illness all of our mental health all of that he bore that all on the cross he, he took all of that with him to the cross and it was nailed down and he said it is finished so when he says it is finished, that means anything that you're dealing with now, even we have to reflect back that all of that was already dealt with and we don't have to carry that anymore because he carried that to the cross for us. So when he says, come to me and I will give you rest, 
as an exchange. Give me your burdens and he will give you the rest. Give him your burdens, he will give you rest. Give him your stress, he will give you rest. And I just wanted to share that because I thought that was too, too good. You are not designed to do this by yourself. It said to give your burdens is to receive rest. If you are tired of running, if you are tired of struggling, if you are tired of doing everything in your own strength, so, so many times, I know people of our color love to think we got to do it on our own. We could go get it. We, you know, self-made type of people, but we don't have to do that. That that is that narrative needs to be broken off of us and off of anyone else who carries that same that same like mentality of we got to do everything ourselves. We have to force our way um, to the top. All of that stuff. Like we we are we have this like we think we have to have this tough exterior. No, Jesus said, "Come to me, and I will give you rest." I just wanted to share that tip with you guys before I let you guys go. Go, um, and I think that was. It. that's all I had to share but thank you guys so much for tuning into today's video I hope you enjoy getting ready with me for church this morning if you want to see more of these let me know I don't really do a lot of get ready with me because I take too long and when I start recording I really take too long so if you guys want to see more get ready with me let me know down in the comments please make sure you guys subscribe like share talk to me in the comments let me know what you guys thinking what got what you guys want to see more of and I will try my very best <laughs> to make that happen. I know my lash, y'all. This lash, I just saw it. And it's kind of being wonky today. So this one is probably coming off today. Um, but thank you guys so much for tuning in. And I will catch you guys next video. Bye.